certain students coming back to the classroom more days during the week. Yeah, in a matter of weeks, some of these kids will be in the classroom five days. Our Ayla Ferone tonight spoke with the superintendent and breaks down what this all means for parents. Students will soon be walking back through doors like this career center over the next couple of weeks as Greenville County expands their in person learning. Dr. Royster. Thank you, Tim. On Wednesday, Greenville County Schools announced it will begin phasing in five day a week in person learning for some students. Our protocols are being effective, they're working. And you're going to tell me. Superintendent Dr. Burke Royster says in a matter of weeks, some students will be back in the classroom five days a week. Maintaining six feet of social distance, wearing a mask when you cannot do so. Just hit it one time and let go. This including Career Center Level 2 students like those who attend the Golden Strip Career Center. We are just excited that we're having the opportunity to get them back in, in class. You want to put the ones with the nuts and with the washers on them on the bottom. Director J.F. Lucas says in-person learning is crucial for students at the Career Center. We knew that students had to have a certain number of hours, certain amount of hands-on skills uh, to get that industry certification. Second block, guys. Second block. Here's how it will work. Next week, all first graders, self-contained special ed students at all grade levels and career center level two students will be in the classroom Wednesday and Thursday. The following week, all of those students will move to four days a week with e-learning on Friday. You'll notice that each will be phased in. We believe that's been a successful approach so far. Most students will remain at the four days a week schedule, except for first graders and special ed students at the elementary and pre-K levels, who will then move to five days a week. And over the next several weeks, Greenville County Schools say that we could see pre-K and kindergarten being phased back in, similar to the current plan. I'm reporting in Greenville County, Ayla Farone, 7 News.